Yo more people and we're back with another Black Ops 1 video, this time we're on Moon. This is another map I didn't really play a whole lot of. This was the first map I ever done an easter egg on though. So I do know my way around the map and stuff, obviously that was ages ago when I done that. Uh, I know my way around the map, which is good. I have been playing Shangri-La trying to get a gameplay, I can't lie. Like these ones are one or two attempts, but Shangri-La I cannot do that. I'm literally getting wave 7, <laughs> 7 or 8, it's been fucking terrible, haven't been having fun with Shangri-La at all, um, so I thought we'd drop the moon one now, and then Shangri-La will be next week, I might give it another go, trying to get um, a better round sort of thing, but for now, we're just gonna ignore ignore the fact that how, how bad Shangri-La could be. There, there is a chance I upload a shit round and we just talk about how bad the map is um, but I'm trying to avoid that because I actually really like the look of the map. It's just the way it plays I don't, I'm not really a fan of. But yeah, Moon, what a fucking map this is. It changed everything really for zombies. One of the first easter eggs I believe, if not the first, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, but that easter egg was sick, you blew up the fucking earth. Simon says you have to get the yeah, the wonder weapons where you where you can shoot the um, the ball. You fill up the pyramid with souls. There's just so much to it. You can't you can't really go wrong with the uh, moon easter egg. I think it's one of the better ones to be honest. It does take a lot of time because you need the um, different grenades and stuff. You have to keep going back and forth between them. I believe off the top of my head. Um, but this map is just fucking sick. The one thing I did hate was the astronaut. I, I didn't really say anything when it happened, but as you see, I got quick revive and instantly the uh, pretty much the astronaut caught me and um, headbutted me and yeah, I lost quick revive. That's the sort of annoying thing that used to get me on zombies, but I guess that's what makes it harder. It gives gives it more play playable uh, playback ability. Sorry, you actually want to go back on here and and try and beat it. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, again, with with the editing style, um, I'm trying to cut out all of the me just running somewhere and stuff like that. Uh, this part here is going to show a full round. Basically just training, as always, on every map. I'm trying to rack up the points. But yeah, another annoying thing I found about this, this one is I, I keep my helmet on just because I can't be bothered with the... Run, well, I do run. This is the thing. In this one, I do run back and forth um, with the hacker, and I and I turn off the excavation, which I think is quite a good idea. But in general, I wouldn't. To be honest, I just keep my helmet on everywhere, and I wouldn't even really care. But I was gonna keep taking my helmet off just to make because obviously it sounds weird if we're being honest. It's that the the sound quality on this map is so weird when you got your space helmet on. Just can't get used to it. It's, out every <laughs> it's all so weirdly sounded, and then all of a sudden you just running short. Yeah, all of a sudden you <laughs> the sound just back to normal when your helmet's off or when someone's talking, like a uh, the animation, the animation is talking to you. And, uh, and, uh, it's weird for audio on this map. It's really quiet at some parts, and then really loud at other. But yeah, right now as you can see, I'm running back um, with the excavation about to happen. I think that's the name of it. I don't know. Got a flop there. Can't find which one it is. See, this is this is a thing as well. Like I said I know the map kind of. Obviously, I don't know it well enough. Didn't know what I was doing. You see, I thought I could just go up to it and hold X, but I had to get the the hacker out first. That hacker was such a sick concept, I can't lie. Go in there, hack doors, takes ages, so you can't really do it on solo unless you've got crawlers really far away from where you are. Um, but yeah, you can hack the box. Uh, what else could you do? I think there was a way to give... There was a way to... There was something else you could do with it. I can't remember what it was, but it was just fucking sick. This map is just great. The layout of the map is great. The pyramid... Look at this pyramid. Just looks fucking sick. Um, the zero gravity as well is such a sick concept. It is annoying sometimes when you're trying to jump around corners and stuff. Um, and then obviously when you come into places like this where you could take your helmet off, the jumping's back to normal. So I sick. The just the um, 
the way the map actually plays is just so sick I think there's a decent um, areas for training as well so you can play this multiplayer and there shouldn't be any arguments um, with this one I'm not expecting nothing crazy round wise um, just because like I said this isn't one of the maps that I spent loads and loads of hours on so we've only got either Ascension and Shangri-La left or we've got Ascension, Shangri-La and then the three starter maps, the World of War, the four sorry, World of War maps. So if you guys want me to do that on BO1 I will, um, it's just that there's not really much difference is there. And obviously there's the quick revive, so I get more lives, but in general the, the maps are identical really aren't they? Whereas at least on BO3 I'd have cobble gums to change up a little bit. I used to love stand, staying in there, no man's land, and seeing how, how high round I could get. It, it, well, obviously it's not rounds, is it? It's um, how many zombies you can kill, but it was never a lot. Seeing people like I, I, Steve, I, I, do that, fucking crazy, man. I don't know if you lot watch Noah J's reaction videos to world records and stuff like that, but it's some really good YouTube content, I can't lie. That's another thing I'm... I need to get a PC for really just so I can start doing speedruns properly just because it's so annoying on console when you're doing a speedrun you don't really know what time you're running at unless you can start a time at the same time but obviously being on two like a PC and an Xbox at the same time isn't the easiest thing to do I'm sure there is easier ways like there's probably a shortcut thing I could set up with starting to record and um, a timer it probably is a thing, but um, I should probably look into that a little bit more just because speedrunning is so fucking fun. All the Easter eggs or X fills or um, where else is there? No Man's Land and First Room and everything like that. Obviously, it all needs a timer. Grabbing a couple of perks and guns. I got so unlucky in this in this game. I get the grenade so many times. There we go. Finally got the right gun, and the fucker gets me again. I didn't want to shoot then, just because obviously you shoot anything too close to the ray gun. <laughs> You've seen that happen to me before. It kills you. Right, so now we're back up four perks this time. And there we go. Basically back to back. There might have been a spin or two in between there, but I'm not 100% sure. But these guns were... I remember when I first see these guns, I was absolutely shocked. They are absolutely insane. But I'm out of ammo now. We've skipped a lot. Um, just because basically in this game, all I've done is train, train, train. Just trying to get a little bit of a higher round than some of the other ones we've done in the past. But yeah, this gun, the idea of it was so sick. Sh left and right triggers do different types of bullets um, and then put the gun together and it does a different, even different type. That was annoying. It done the knife lunge and put me into a corner and got me down. And obviously I've got no ammo. So I need to get rid of something. Surprised that even, that even worked there. To be honest, Magnum is a sick gun, though. Something slightly different this time. Stamina up. Easier for training. That's a <clears throat> I did really forget about those being on the map as well. There's more than the, the standard perks. Some great perks on this map. But yeah, obviously, I've lost. I lost the down earlier. Um. Yeah, lost a doubt one of the quick revives earlier because of the astronaut. And yeah, I've just gone down again. And I hate to say it. I got snaked very hard. So that's it for this episode, my people. We'll be back again next Monday with a new episode. Hold it. Peace.